Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I'm going to review this uh, Sonoff Mini Extreme which is I think well hopefully I think it's Sonoff uh, newest product and probably the smallest product as well and it is uh, as the name suggests it's like a mini it's like you know a uh, old switch replacement which goes behind your switch and it can switch a channel and it also has some switch input just like the mini does but now it is mini it is new and it has some new features so i'm going to talk about that now but before i talk about that let me just zoom out because uh, while we are approaching christmas and the reason i got this is well it's because of you uh, so i got some christmas present from sonoff so i got uh, like a small small uh, screwdriver set and i also got this vacuum um, uh, what is it you know drink holder uh, like stainless steel, like double walled, and I also got a t-shirt, and then uh, this uh, Son of Extreme Mini was in there. I genuinely appreciate all these small gifts, uh, to be honest, and I think especially these are definitely going to be useful. So I, uh, I already have a small screwdriver set, which is, uh, it just became annoying because it's missing this piece of magnet which holds the bits in, that's the only issue with that. So I think I'm going to reuse uh, the replacement of this and also the Maggie's grid because uh, I didn't have anything uh, that uh, can hold hold beverage, even though I don't really go anywhere uh, because since COVID I'm mostly working from home. And of course, there is a new product as well that we can review. So this is all thanks to you watching my uh, videos. Uh, at the same time, I would like to, you know, wish Merry Christmas for you as well. But now let's get into the review of these. So let me put these aside and talk about this Mini Extreme. And I could just, uh, you know, make a really quick video saying that it is pretty much like a Son of Mini. Well, this is actually a Zigbee, uh, Zigbee Mini. I, for some reason I can't find my mini, but I guess you get the idea. I mean, it's, it's going to be the same size. So they managed to shrink it down even further. So you can see that it's smaller in both of the dimensions and it is thinner as well. And still it retains all the functionality. And if you want to compare it to something else, I also brought a banana. So just for scale. So it still supports all the features what the Son of Mini does. I think the only thing they, uh, they, uh, this, uh, the Mini Extreme is lacking is uh, because of the small form factor, they only managed to fit in a 10 amp relay. I think the Mini has a 16 amp relay, but uh, it is mostly going to be used for you know, light switches. So I think 10 amp is, uh, is plenty enough. And the other big improvement uh, is like, just like with all new Sonoff product, they start to use the ESP32 chip, which uh, the only reason uh, just a general uh, Sonoff or EVLink user should be excited about because it supports Bluetooth. So the pairing is much more quicker and much more easier. But because of the ESP32, there is a lot more memory. So there is a lot more features that they managed to cramp into this device. And they actually did. So we are going to see in the video that they managed to create a lot of different um, um, switch features like what type of switch it uh, um, it supports and there are a couple of other options which I haven't really seen for any other son of device and um, it is probably not the first for the son of extreme mini extreme because there has been a son of mini release free as well which I don't have and I haven't reviewed and I think this that is probably have some of the features as well. We are going to see that once I go into the program, this is actually listed in the Son of in the EVLink app as Son of Mini Release 4. So that's that would be the successor of the release 3. And just to quickly also mention the features, um, just like the mini, they they require the neutral wire. So there is nothing like the you know the new no neutral wire version. So yeah you have to accept that. Let me get a little bit closer so we can look at this device and as I said the connection and the external layout is pretty much like the mini actually if I would actually if I would bring it uh, side to side I think probably even the pinouts are the same 
Uh, actually, they are. So, oh, not, not exactly, but they are almost. So we have two neutral connections. They are internally connected together. So that's, you know, the neutral in and out. It's the same thing. And you have a line in, which is this one. So that's where your fixed line comes in and the line out, which is your switch line out that goes out. And then you have the two switch connection and you connect your switch between the S1 and the S2 connections. And by the way, uh, S1 and the live in is again internally connected together. So just like in the previous model, you're, you're switching a live uh, connection. So just uh, make sure that you are not touching it, not touching the switch whenever you are using it. Other than that, it has a push button here as well. And that's it. There's nothing else on the other side. Um, yeah, it says 10 amps. So, uh, and of course, multi volt is just like with all Sonoff products. So this is all there is to it. And um, it comes in this small box. And uh, yeah, it comes with the us usual leaflet documentation. And the reason I like this documentation because there is a lot of uh, uh, wiring diagram here which I think you can see all of them in the screen now so it comes in a couple of languages so you can see how you wire a simple switch so as I said neutral goes in um, and neutral goes out and then life goes in and life goes out to the lamp so you can connect it like that and then the switch is connected between S1 and the S2 and if you already have a two-way switch so two switches in the two-way configuration you can just hook them up, hook them up like this like the middle pole of the two switches go back to S1 and the S2. And actually that's the same documentation, sorry, the same diagram. And uh, then you get the usual things and details, how you hook it up with the app and, and yeah, FCC, you know, warning messages and, and some of the other stuff. Yeah, that's, that's it. So there is nothing much in the documentation, but I don't think that there needs to be a lot anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up this device and you're not going to see much because there is a status LED on that, um, you know, Wi-Fi symbol, but it is a very faint status LED. And now in the evening application, you can see the extreme here um, and I can just switch it on and off. There is a relay, you can see the relay, you can, sorry, you can hear the relay clicking, but other than that, it just like, yeah, it, it's, it is displayed as just like any other thing here. And on the main screen, it, again, it just acts like a single gang switch. So you have the main switch icon on the middle, and then you have the usual thing. So you have the schedules. Uh, so it is like your on off schedules that you can do. And so multiple of these schedules, and you also have these timers. So I want the light to turn off after um, half an hour once I turn them on. And the usual loop timer is also here. So nothing really have changed in here. Um, and these are the standard features that are available for all these type of switches. And I think probably right in the beginning of one of my Sonoff videos, I mentioned that um, as per my best knowledge, these, these all these options, so the schedule, the timer and the loop timer are all stored on the device's memory. So if the uh, internet is lost, then you still, those functions will still work. Going into the device settings, this is where we are going to see some of the new features. First of all, there is a display as, which I'm not really sure what it does because uh, regardless of which one I select, I don't see any changes on the main screen. So it still shows this uh, switch. So, oh, oh, here it's changed to a light bulb. Okay, so it changes that graphics and maybe it changes the graphics also in the, uh, um, yeah, if you're using cast or the web interface. So let's see if it change. Oh yeah, it changes. The, okay, so it changes to the fan, but then the, um, you know, the switch and the default was not that uh, different that I could notice. Okay, so this is just a, you know, visual thing, nothing like, nothing else. We have the assigned location, the share and the grouping. These are the usual features that we see with loads. You have LAN control as well. So again, if your internet connection is, is lost, but you are at home, you can still control it. EV-Link remote sub-devices, um, well, I'm not going to be able to uh, show you this, but I assume this is the S-Mate switches that, again, uh, has been introduced for the release 3 as well. And by the way, this is what I said. You see here it says Moto Mini R4. So this is uh, intended as a successor of the Mini or let's say uh, like a smaller version of the, of the Mini 
where or the mini r3 where you need less spaces and you are willing to sacrifice on the relay being only 10 amps and you have the switch mode so this is new for me i haven't seen it on any device and uh, if you watch some of my Shelly videos, these are the things that are that have been available for the Shelly for such a long time. So it basically just, you can select what type of switch uh, that is connected to the S1 and the S2. And if you have the regular, um, you know, like rocker switches that uh, you, you probably see in most homes where you, you know, flick from up and down position, you select the edge mode. But if you have a, like a momentary switch, like a, like a push button or something like that, that would be the pause mode. So it receives a pause and it flips the state. And then if you are using some other inputs uh, um, and you want to definitely mimic that state on the relay output, you would use the following mode. And also there is a functionality to detach the relay, which means that the switch is not going to immediately affect the, uh, the relay output. So you might be pushing a button or switching a switch here, but you don't want the relay to actually change status because you want to use an other functionality. Let's, you, uh, let's say you want to use a, a smart scene to take another condition into account and that only, and, and only you know, change the output. And this is, uh, uh, in, and in that case, you would detach the relay and you would configure your own uh, rules in automation. And I think the rest is, uh, is uh, pretty standard. So if we have off, uh, push notification, offline alert is, uh, well, to be honest, that's also new for me, but I think it probably existed for some of the other devices, which I don't own and some of the recent devices. And you have the logs, the network indicators. So that's small LED, you can turn it off. You have the usual power on state and that has the on off and the last state. But now again, we have some new features here. So you can, let's say you want this device to come on when the power comes back on, but you can specify a delay. And it is actually an interesting feature. Uh, I mean, leave me a comment on how would you use that because I did remember one comment um, from a user saying that they would really like this functionality. Well, not with the mini, but some of the bigger devices because um, they do have power cuts quite often. And when the power comes back, like the fridge, the freezer and the hot water heater all try to come on at the same time and it would trip the breaker again. So they would really like to see a feature when they can uh, specify a power on state of on, but with a delay. So if you have, if they have like two or three of those devices, they just set a different delay, like, you know, a couple of seconds apart or 10 seconds apart. So they don't pull load immediately at the same time especially things that have motors, they usually have a really high starting current. So this is, that's actually a nice feature. And I'm hoping that this gets added to many more devices in the future or some of the existing devices retrospectively as well. We have the inching settings as well. And this also comes with this auto on or the auto off feature that I think we have seen for the Elite already. So they are just building some of these new features into these new products as well. So uh, into these new products as well. So this is the auto off is the usual things that you turn it on and it turns off automatically, but you can do it the other way around as well. So it's, you, some, you turn something off because let's say it's a fan and, and you don't want to hear it, but you don't want to remember not to turn it back on. So you set it to auto on after an hour or something like that. And that's it. The rest is manufacturer model device ID. And uh, yeah, of course you can do the device so that's in a nutshell and of course i could speak a lot more about these switch mode functions and maybe also the power on state but i would have to do a little bit more uh, experiment with those and probably set up a couple of scenarios which i just couldn't do uh, given that i've only received this recently and if i go into the states sorry the scenes and um, of course i can you know smart scene pick at the extreme so you can create a trigger whenever this gets turned on and off. And this is something that I need to test as well, because I think this probably relates to the input because, uh, you know, when you are detaching, you, you only want to detect the external inputs from the switch, not actually when the relay is turned on and off. And um, on the action side, smart device, extreme. Yeah, I can just uh, have simple actions like, turn the output on, turn the output off, or reverse the uh, current state of the output. So standard stuff, but this is what you would expect from a simple smart switch. 
So as I said, it looks like a mini, it feels like a mini, but because of the ESP and the new firmware, it does a lot more than just a simple mini. But then hopefully some of the minis will get this functionality as well. So if you like this product and you want to purchase it, there's going to be affiliated links in the video description. So if you plan to buy one and you could use my link, that will help me out. But that will be all for today. Merry Christmas and hopefully see you in the next video.